Hi, my name is Mike Shackelford, also known as the Wizard of Odds, and the purpose of this video is to answer the probability question, if you were to roll two dice until at least one of them landed on two, what is the probability on that roll that both of them would be two? And the reason I ask this is somebody asked it in my forum at wizardofvegas.com, and it produced hundreds and hundreds of responses, people arguing. One camp said the answer was one-sixth, and one camp said the answer was one in 11. And the one in six camp was very, shall we say, persistent. Um, they just could not grasp that the answer could be anything other than one in six. And their argument was pretty simple. If you were to roll two dice, dice and you see a two here, and you ask yourself, what is the probability that this other die is a two? Well, this die has six sides on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer must obviously be one in six. Um, um, and the error in that logic is that they never address the situation of what you're supposed to do if both dice land on two. Uh, for example, Let's say that I rolled that. What are you supposed to do? Which is the one that you take away and ask what is the probability that this is a two? Um, you know, it just doesn't work that way. And what the one in six camp said is don't tell me anything that has to do with Bayesian probability, conditional probability, I don't get it, I never, I flunked out of algebra, dumb it down as much as you can, and try to explain to me with no math why the answer is 1 in 11. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do with this video. So in order to try to explain this using no math as I was asked to do, um, with no formulas or anything like that, because I know it will totally freak out the 1 in 6 camp, I'm going to try to explain why the answer is 1 in 11 using only dice. dice. So, with two dice, there are 36 ways, there are 36 possible outcomes. Um, because each die has six sides, so it could land on any one of the six. The second die also has six possible um, sides, and it can land on any one of the six. 6 times 6 is 36. And right here you see all the possible combinations. Um, so let's look at, of all 36 combinations, the ones that have a 2 in them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In other words, there is an 11 in 36 chance that if you roll two dice, at least one of them will be a 2. What is the probability that they will both be a 2? The probability is 1 in 36. There is only one combination out of 36 where both of the dice are 2. And 10, where exactly one is a 2 and 25 out of 36, where neither one <clears throat> is a two. So, if we kept rolling the dice over and over until we got at least one two, then, there's a, then we narrow down the combinations to just 11. So we can remove all of these, all of these, because they don't have a two, these and these. So you'll eventually get one of these 11 combinations. And how many of these 11 have two twos, just one. Therefore, the answer to the original problem is one in 11, and I don't know how to explain it any simpler than that.